What's up, dude? Not much, my brother. Um, happy Monday to you, bro. You still got no shoelaces, bro. Yeah, you know, that's how I rock it sometimes, because I'm like, I'm like, I'm going to put these shoes on by Fluvog, and they're going to feel good. Here's the problem. Do they the, come you with shoelaces, the though? Do they come with them? And you rip no, them out? they don't. They, they oh. came like this. You know, this, I don't. I wear them because they're just comfortable. You know, you know what the secret is? You know what the problem with me is? I got a little nerve in my in my toe, and if my feet are scrunched up in a certain way, every time I walk, that nerve yeah, goes. It, oh, it hurts. Tit. Yep. So I got to. I wear, can't wear tight shoes if they're. I got wide feet, bro. Yeah, they're tight. Like I got these new. Toes are all scrunched Yeezy up. Sent to me. Didn't try them on. Mm-mm. Can't wear the new Yeezy. It's disappointing. Really? They're too scr- They're too tight at the front now. It's a problem. Got to give them to someone. I can't else. have uh, what they call them roach killers. Where there's a roach in the corner, like in the corner of the room, and you you use the pointy oh, part of your toe. Oh, like the dress kick, shoes. Yeah, so you call them roach killers because you kick that that roach, roach into the corner and kill it. Because that's you, an old school. Because your foot bro. can get into the corner, cra- you know, in the corner no, of the it. room. No, I get it. Yeah, I got it. Get your roach, roach killers killer. out. I see a roach. Kick hang. Kick hang. Yeah. How was uh, your dinner on Saturday, dude? It was I didn't go, man. a bit epic. I'll be fun? honest. Don't, don't say epic, though, huh? But, but unless you're 14, well, I'll tell you. I'll, say I'll, the best anymore. way to describe it is this: as my boy Colin, who's a listener of the podcast, Colin O'Connor, sick chef, sick chef, cooking. Sure. Everybody I invite comes, shows up, except for you. Thank you. <laughs> and it's like ten people or whatever, ten dudes that I've known for a long time. Real cock fest. Okay, check, a real check. cock. At one point, my buddy goes, have you noticed that nobody, it's been three hours and nobody's looked at their phone once? That's when you're having a real conversation. We guys are older, too. What, no, <laughs> not everybody's older. Oh, really? Oh, no. I thought, oh. No, in fact, Herman Rents, who's a comic, who's like, he's 30, he said that. But it was really interesting. It was like, it was like, and I put it just a bunch of people. And did you guys go and go, is this the best night ever? And then hug? I, yeah, I said, is this, well, no, we got a little drunk. And got is this crazy. the best night ever, guys? Is this the best When's night the ever? last time someone looked at their phone? I don't want shut the fuck up. I'll take that. Had guy. some veterans there who were drinking tequila. Thank you. And, uh, and, and then Frank and I got riled up because they were, they were, you know, badass Marines and they were drunk and we were having a laugh with them. Who, uh, else, who else came that I know? Um, Frank, Jeff Foley. You don't know Jeff. I don't know Jeff. One of the best. You, it was a really good night. Who else, dude? Jed Minoff. You don't think you know my friend since I was 18. Uh, Herman, you know Herman Rents? Uh, tall, played D1 basketball, stand-up comic, funny guy. It's starting out. I don't know. Very funny, dude. Um, <laughs> I've never else? heard these names ever in my life. Yeah. Um, 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 oh, uh, Court. Court. Cortland, who did our, our – who did the – Oh, I like him. Yeah, great guy. I've seen him forever. Yep. Um and who else? I'm trying to think. I'm drawing a blank. None of our boys like the Rudy Leo Sasso. Uh, no, Sasso was in Canada. He would have come, but he couldn't make it. No, Delia, and Delia Sasso. was somewhere else. Santino was gone. I invited him. Interesting group. Couldn't make it. Fun it was a very eclectic group. Yeah. But when you put people from different backgrounds, you got two combat decorated Marines. You got an Where interior you know designer. From? Where do you know them from? From through Frank Rudy Reyes and his buddy, who was a Marine, came over, and they're both great. And uh, but when you mix, what I, I love to do is I'll take uh, all different people and put them together in a room, and you're eating food and talking, and some cool shit happens. Because you don't discriminate, bro. I don't when discriminate. You mean cool shit, you mean conversations? Mm, I mean nudity. <laughs> I mean nudity, and I mean <laughs> I mean some light wrestling. I just laughs, just laughs, yeah. and then deep conversation. Good times. And what, what kind of food was it, dude? Uh, lamb had ourselves some sea bass, some, some lamb, lamb chops, little lamb chops. Some, yeah, we had some some very good vegetables. We had some cheese. Got to have some cheese and a lot of excellent wine. Oh, you, ex- you boys were Spanish farting. Wine. You guys, boy, you boys were. Well, farting we were watching. Remember, we watched the fights. We watched the Canelo fight, which we can get into. We watched the. We watched the. You mean the three round? I fight. Yeah, Not really a fight. What else? Was everyone like, look at it go? Well, the whole point of that fight, I think, was to get us to download that app. Uh, I had problems. I couldn't do it. So the fight. Is it called Rada? They're trying the to be the net. The zone. Rada. Well, the app itself is uh, Rada. R-A-D-A. No, the app itself is called the zone. The zone. D a z n. Is that one? Yeah, the zone. <laughs> oh, you guys illegally streamed it. <laughs> no. I did. Yes. Yeah, you did. No. I caught you, bitch. I know. I, yeah. No, I did. Finally caught you. No, no, I had to download Rada? the app. I, I can't. Rada. R A D. Yes. It's the black thing, yes, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. And you didn't no, pay for it, right? No, I had to download. Yeah. Yes. No, I did. I got it for. Oh, no, I got it for, got free. for free on Apple TV. 
The leave no, it's nine dollars a snack. That one, that one, whatever that is. That's Dazone. Oh, Dazone. No, you said Raider though. I don't know. I, I was thinking Raider. Bring up Raider. Well, that, that makes sense. Ray Let's Dazone. find out what Raider is. <laughs> no, it's this. Yeah. Let's tell you watch the UFC pay per views. Oh, there it is. Raider for Legally Rada, streaming. Rada, Rada, Royal Academy. Rada, exactly. Rada, exactly. Illegally that's streaming. That's there you go. You no, can that's how it's said. Uh, illegally streaming all oh, athletic so events, including UFC. So it's fighting. Dazone. I'm such an idiot. Oh, I know. I know, dude. I see how you mix that up. No, I had on my smart TV. I had to download that. App with Frank it took us forever, and then we watched. Hey, it. How, but real quick, how difficult is it to get the zone shit going? It took us. It I took stopped. me an hour Me to too. get it. I was forty five minutes in. I went. You know what? Fuck you, Frank. DAZN. Frank kept I'm going. Out. Frank kept going. Fuck, because I kept having to put my name, Me my too. email, my, I'm my password, I'm and then the password asked for five characters. I know. Did you see that? I'm not, like, no, how? No. What fucking password needs five characters? You know what a character is? Dollar sign. So I was like, I don't even remember what the character. I was like, I don't know. I put in five. No, I was out, and I, and I turned around. Everyone was waiting for me to get done. Went. You know what? This, this fight's gonna be over in five rounds. This is a waste of our. How did you time. know that? By the way, I thought he, he was a champion. He's <laughs> taller. <laughs> First of all, can I ask you a question? As a boxing guy. He must have gone in there going, oh, I'm going to take a paycheck and I'm going to lose because it, this is all about the zone. And I'm going to. No. He stood. He had his hands. He said, I'm going to go toe to toe with Canelo. Bigger guy. Why don't you use your jab and keep him away? Wouldn't that. Wouldn't it's that, not his style. He's a brawler. He's a bigger dude. He's a brawler. You know? he, so he wouldn't. So after all that time, he wouldn't. I mean, some guys just don't. It's not their style, man. It's easy to sit back when you guys hit mitts and shit and go, oh, he should have just jabbed and used footwork. It's Hold not on. his style. Hold on. Ooh, hey, let me tell you. I don't when hit, I say I'm glad I, I missed your dinner. I don't hit mitts. I, I dude, spar. Dude, footwork jab. I spar. Oh, footwork jab. Hey, Brian, Frank, both of you, doesn't matter. Same time. Jump in there and footwork and jab Canelo Alvarez. Let me know how it goes. I, I would keep, I, I, let keep me put it busy. this way. No, look, I keep him, I keep him occupied with the jab. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the zones that was, I just went, you know what? Fuck it. You, just fuck it. It's just too much effort. It's a little too Unless much. Unless I can just click on it. Oh, by I'm the out, way, man. by the way, a complete massacre. I'm out. I'm out, man. Did I you have? Did like you this. have Kevin Lee over Iaquenta in that fight? I, I thought. Well, no, no. I thought the judges got it right, but I yeah. originally I picked Kevin. No, Lee. No, what I mean is what I mean is originally. Yeah. Originally, because yeah. I because Kevin Lee was winning in the beginning, yeah. and then Iaquenta comes back with those. It was just crazy. In a fury. Did you see old Caddy Cat's picture on Instagram? Sure didn't. Dressed up, went to holiday party cat. I mean. Yep, I went to my company's corporate holiday party, so I got dressed up for a night. That's a fucking hilarious. That's hilarious. I approve. (laughs) Right? I approve. Bravo. (laughs) Bravo, sister. Um was it a big party? Where was it at, Cat? Yeah, it was at the California Club downtown. Really fancy. I like your, I this like your is, caption. This, I saw the wallpaper. I didn't know whether or not to be offended or not. I'm kind of into it, though. This is the new uh, company? Yep, the new company. Were, were people nice to you or were people kind of weird? No, everyone was nice. It's usually the uh, residents who aren't people so nice. creepy? Uh, not yeah. nice or creepy? Some of them creepy. Some of them with very strong Asian fetishes. Sure. sure. Uh, so at least I have the option of marrying rich, but... Yeah, most of them are really nice. That's cool. Did, uh, did you bring your boy, your man there? Mm-mm. No, you didn't bring him? He didn't want to nope, go? Nope, it was... Um, he was like, girl, you know Saturday night's video game night? Or he just didn't want to go? Uh, didn't want to go. Also, it's like, it's like a workers only, no spouses. Damn, that's fucked up. Yeah. Have you heard of that? Only, no. no spouses? No spouses. You should get a plus one. I mean, you forced <laughs> to go by yourself? Yeah, it, so basically it's just me and my coworkers. Damn, that's kind of interesting. It was nice. Free food, free booze. Good food? Yeah, good food. They had sea bass and filet mignon. We're doing good. a little company party here. Scope it tomorrow night. Yeah, we are. Uh, we're going to do the same policy. No friends. No friends. <laughs> no friends. No friends. Please Just don't. Brian, Brennan, Chin, and Cat. That's the squad. That's the squad. Have you ever had, uh, you ever gone out with somebody because you kind of had to? And then you... You mean like a date, dude? No, just like you're out with some people and you're like... And then you season it in with somebody you'd rather hang out with. No. Where you're like, like oh yeah, group? we're supposed to have dinner. Or, yeah, we'll have dinner. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to bring my friend as a buffer. Oh, it's the worst. Fuck. I'm going to die. The worst. I went and saw a mall Santa, Brian. You know how anti-mall Santa I am. I went, well, not by choice. My girl signed me and Tiger up for it. When you have kids, you'll stand in that line to meet Mall Santa, and that's appalling. Didn't stand in line. Come on. 
No, 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 no. What? No, they didn't stay in line. Come what? on, it's not that bad. What they the? went to the Grove. Obviously had an appointment. But when we get there, uh, he, this is what bothered me. Ty, you know, Tiger loves everyone. He's a loving kid. So he hugs him. And Santa's like, oh, good boy. He's like rubbing his back. I'm like, easy, Santa, easy. And then he goes, um, oh, he kept calling him sweetie. <laughs> and then I was like, hey, boy, though, huh? So sweetie doesn't work. You know, it's like, kept calling him sweetie. It, it rubbed me the wrong way. Keep going, all oh, sweetie, sweetie. Yeah, that's like, dude, that's so interesting you said that. That's so doing? interesting you said because I had a guy call my son sweetheart, and he kept calling him sweetheart, and it was like you know, I mean, they're so cute and they're so little at that age, but. God, just and the, I remember when my right my term. friend's father, I said I, I was in college, and I, and I said I was, I, I never forgot this. Um, I said, uh, you know, I, I drove faster so I could get there, and he said, "Honey, listen, don't ever." Mm-hmm. A speed like that, hon, and I'll tell you why. Like, he called me honey twice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you, he right? just he just cared about me and he didn't want me to speak because he didn't want me to die because he was honey? an older man. But he's like, honey, you don't have to sweep. And I was I, and I was like, I'm 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 19, sir. I'm you can't call me 20. Honey. You just can't call me fucking well, well, it's honey. like when I get my Starbucks when this lady sometimes in the morning when I go there, she goes, Anything else, sweetie? I'm like oh. Well, I'm older than you, so don't yeah. call me sweetie, though. Yeah, I, find I don't mind weird. that. I don't mind if it's a it's a gal. Who Not, calls me when that. they're really young, I feel like like she's like she looks like because she looks young, she looks like cat, yeah, yeah, yeah. but white. Yeah, and she's like sweetie. I'm like, I had a gal call me doll face. She goes, "All right, doll face, is that all?" Oh, I was like, "I'm doll feel like face." That's... Hey, man, I'm not a doll face. <laughs> It's almost like, all right, big dummy. Anything else? Like, well, no, man. My Dolphins? buddy, my buddy Jimmy Burke likes to do that shit to me. I'll be, we'll be at dinner, and I'll be like a waiter, or a, we'll be around some guys, and he'll he'll fucking put his arm, he'll just put his arm gently around the small of my waist. Already a problem, and he goes, "Sweetheart, you want a drink?" Sweetheart, I go, "You want a drink, babe?" Like that. I'm like, "Dude, don't start with that shit." I'm like, he goes, "What's up, honey? What's going on?" He, well, he keeps his arm there, and I go, "Get your fucking yeah, get arm out of here. You got these guys over here. Get your arm off me." There's also the the dude who calls your girl or any girl babe. Yeah. Like, hey, babe, you need anything? I'm like, well, it's not your babe, not though, your, is it? Not your babe, bro. Not your babe, man. Not That'd your be babe. my girl, so let's not call her babe. <laughs> hey, babe, you want something, too? It's like, mm, mm. not comfortable, man. Yeah, that's a little weird. You're the mall slaying. That's strange, dude. Yeah. I just don't trust them, man. I just don't get that vibe. Mall Santa? They don't get that vibe. Sweetie. He's so cute, though. I would call him sweetie. He's such a cute. He's cute as shit. When you're a little like that, it doesn't matter, but. Yeah, super cute, and I don't, fucked don't, up. Don't don't speed, honey. You know why? That's funny. It's, you're not going to get there any faster, honey. I promise. I uh, I got all crunk. Take my son to Spider Man, so I drove to Target at eight in the morning after I worked out. Drove at eight in the morning. I got all these Spider Man toys, and I saw one toy that had just had like all the characters. I'm like, well, yeah, I want that instead of these two stupid ones. So I grab it. Then I get home. Fucking nightmare. It was like, and I don't know why they put them with the toys for kids. It was like these collector items where the characters are in these concealed glass cases where you can't play with them or oh. get them out. And then you're supposed to like stack them, but it's for grown men. Like it, you're like stacking my collect- collectibles. <sighs> so I give them to my son. He's like, Ugh. all right, man. And he's trying to stack them. He's getting frustrating. So no. I tried sawing the thing. Fucking night. Well, Taryn, kill him. I think we probably talked about this on the podcast, but I go to his house for Thanksgiving and he's like, so my office is the exact opposite of what your office will be. And he knew, knows I'm going to make fun of him because I'm half a bully. And I walk in, and he's got all the Star Wars collector items, oh, memorabilia toys. in the packaging. I'm like, dude, he, he you are them? a nerd. He collects them? Yeah, and he, he's, he's unabashedly proud. He's like, yeah, whatever. Collects it all. I'm What's like, you thing? fucking nerd. I, wanted, I started shoving him around. You don't really collect anything like that. I, can, I, don't, I wouldn't make I can, I can get down with As it. As a kid, I Wouldn't collected like, like rocks and knives rocks? and insects. And, you know. No, no. No baseball cards? Or trading cards? No, I didn't do that shit. Really? Rock? Fuck off. Were you, were you the dumbest kid in the world? A rock? <laughs> hey, Brian, here's a gray rock, bro. No, dude, don't make hey, That's fun. from the yard up there. No, I, here's I mean, another like, no, gray like rock. Fossils dummy. and like clams and things like that. Clams and <laughs> rocks? Hey, don't make fun of me, dude. No, you must have up. been a real thrill. I'm opening up to you right now. Hey, I got a clam over here, everybody. Get the fuck in my face. I got a, a Bo Jackson rookie <laughs> card, dork. No, I, I no, no, come on, man. I'll trade you. Listen, I got two clams. No, I'll trade you two clams for that Steve Young they rookie card. They were desert card. clams. They were in the, the Tampa desert. Bay rookie no. card. No, I, I have fossils and and like arrowheads. And Tell you what, I'll trade you stones. three arrowheads and one clam for that Junior Seau rookie card. <laughs> uh, absolutely not, Brian. 
<laughs> You're that kid, man. And ra- and knives. I collected knives. Oh wow! Were you the biggest loser, H N? Hey man, did you? What, I'm did, opening did up you, to you. <laughs> did you collect anything? Damn! Now that you say, it, I don't remember. You fucking sure Chins did. all clams. <clears throat> what, what, no clams. Besides human fingers and hair, what did you collect? <laughs> Besides just doll heads, what would you collect? <laughs> Uh, collect? Damn, I don't think you I collect anything. You weren't into anything? Collecting? Like, well, just what about, were you it? into, like, what was your shit as a kid? Like, RC cars. Were, were you, like, you, you were the ones where you could take the top off and then mess with I the I built bottom? everything, yeah. We, me and my brother got down with that shit. Too. Did you ever make model airplanes? Did I? Me and my dad and my uh. brother would go to, we'd do this every three or four weeks. We would drive to Colpar Hobbies, or, yeah, Colpar Hobbies. We'd pick out either a car or a plane and we go next door to Dunkin' Donuts. I'd get a vanilla filled chocolate donut, and Jay would get um, a chocolate glazed. And then we'd go home and we'd make the models. See, every now, three, four weeks. I just didn't have the patience to do a fucking model airplane. <laughs> That's how I, I learned about fun. cars. Really? Oh, yeah, man. That's so cool because I would, I would buy it. And I'd buy it and I'd be like, on. fucking, this is taking too long, man. Yeah, That's so crazy. interesting. You took, you had your. You had you had the patience to push shit together with that. I did. Jay really did it. I'd like help him out all the time. Like I'll all right, I'll take it from here. I'll prime everything and paint it for you. In my acting class one time, this kid did the most powerful. You had to have an activity and be emotional through it. In other words, he like did so acting is doing right. It's like psychology and the behavior. That would be the idea. And this kid fucking is putting together this model airplane. Pretending you're saying he's putting acting, it together yeah. and he's like, he's got a tear down his eye. And the teacher stops and goes, what are you doing? What, what's going on in your head? What? Cause it had to be a thing. And he goes, well, and he, and he goes, um, the last time I saw my father before he took off, he helped me make a, a model airplane. Jesus Christ. And this is the same airplane that I put together with him. Jeez. And he did it. And the teacher goes, I want you to keep going, dude, the whole fucking class. Right. Bro, I, you know me. I'm not emotional. I was, I was like round of applause. Mm-hmm. Round of applause. That, what happened? It was, it was the greatest he thing. The airplane. Uh, his father. Yeah, his father passed away, and then his father's John after Kennedy, that. Bro. And then after that, I go, dude, that was so fucking incredible. I'm sorry that your dad left. He goes, my dad didn't leave. My dad and I have a great relationship. I was just oh, acting. Oh wow, <laughs> it was fucking awesome. Damn. I was like, that's acting, motherfucker. Jesus. He pulled the wool over, over Jesus all Christ. of us. Did you collect anything, Cat? Were you in anything? No, not Wait, really. How old are you? 23. You're young. Yeah. So what would you... Uh, 23, that's like... What was big when you were a kid? Mm. 23, so that's big. Backstreet Boys, NSYNC. NSYNC, Backstreet, Britney Spears? Britney Spears. Uh, what really what about like the, the, the digital pets? Oh, Tamagotchi? No, Tamagotchi. I was never into that. <laughs> but <laughs> there's that. another name for it, right? My we, pet? we just did a Tamagotchi episode on Schooled. That's so weird. School. Yeah. What else? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. Bring up nine. Type in ninety uh, late ninety toys, Jen. You yeah, really like, didn't collect anything. You or your uh, Furby fam? was the no. Furby. Furby. Remember when rock, pet rocks were a big thing? I never got into that. Uh, I, but of course you didn't, cat. No one fucking did. No Brian got did. into it. Way no, before, I did. But way before it was a thing. No, I did. I'm not opening up to you anymore. I knew a girl who used to ha- collect rocks and then make it her pet rock because she was allowed to have like a dog and she put googly <laughs> eyes on them. She pogs, could have sold that for a million dollars. Pogs, beanie See, I did babies. Pogs for a little bit. Beanie Babies, that's that's past your time though, right? A little before my time, yeah. Skip it. Get the fuck out of my face. Yo-yos and slinkies. Furby, Stretch Armstrong, that's old Furby, school. my friend invented Oh, that. Easy Bakes. Oh. I used to play with that all the time. My buddy Roger Shipman. Easy Bakes been around forever. Yeah. Easy Bakes. Troll Dolls, past Mm-mm. your time. Couch Patch, past your time. Talk, for- talk a Boy, past your time. Oh, now I remember. Transformers and GoBots. I would collect those. You collect Transformers? <laughs> and GoBots. Cabbage Patch. Remember Cabbage Patch Fuck dolls yeah. going for $1,000? I love shit? Garbage Pail Kids. That was my shit. What's that? <laughs> hey, man, don't make fun of me. I was older. Bring in, uh, type in Big Wheels in the 90s? Really? No. I had that in the 80s. Yeah. Get the fuck out of there. And I would, I'd ride that thing so hard, the bullshit wheel in the front cracked. It would always split. You remember these? It was always like... It was always like Adam, like Adam Bomb. There you go, Methane Max, Drippy oh, yeah. Debbie. Like it was like pretty nasty stuff. Very very nasty. What are they though? Breezy they're... Betty and Shed Hairy Legs. You know what? I was they pretty young. I was pretty young they? for no, this. No, they're just cards. Trading cards, but they're pretty vulgar. Keep going, Chin. Mm-hmm. Like look trading at that. Trading cards. What the fuck does that mean? Why would you have trading cards? 
You're a dork. <laughs> no, nice try, For dude. real. All the kids are doing this. Garbage pail kids? Give me, why don't you go give me some fucking rock? But what would you do? Trade them? What do you mean? You collected them, dude. There's like a ton of them. What a bunch of horse shit. Yeah, you wish. Go give me a rock, bitch. Hey, do me a favor. <laughs> go give me a clam, bro. Donald Trump. Donald Dump. These are newer ones, I yeah. think. Like that. I remember stuff like that. Is it Zach? Yeah, they're disgusting. Yeah. And that. No, this rings a bell for you guys, huh? No. Yeah, I did Pogs, trading, um, video games. No video games, Kat? No, not really. I liked watching people play video games. I That's was never good That's fascinating to That's me. So people, weird. It's a huge business, but I cannot watch people. I get so bored watching other people play video games. Oh, my God. People make tons of money he, doing that. Yeah. Tons well, of you money. watch that. Like, Shin, video games? No, remember? I don't. God. You're the one that knows all the consoles. Damn I don't know it, any of them. I would no imagine one? that this is the virtual reality shit. Mm-hmm. What they have now is going to be a whole different thing. That's crazy. You're wearing those goggles. Yeah. I mean, have you seen some of the things, like the, some of the physical ones where you're... They have a way to go. They have a ways to go. Hmm. A ways. Yeah. A ways. <laughs> I'm buying the new OLED Sony TV. It's supposed to be... Like, I went... I, I looked what at size? all the other TVs, 65 inch. I went and looked at all the other TVs. And I went and saw that one, and I was like... Well, everything sucks compared to this. That's the problem, is they show you the really good one, and then you're like, oh, no, this sound is so much better. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the best you can buy. That's nice. Mm-hmm. It's nice really, th- oh, this day and back. age with TVs, remember when I was a kid, flat screens were so expensive. Like mm-hmm. 60 inches, you're at 12, 13 mm-hmm. grand. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I can get you a fucking 70 inch screen now for 800 bucks. Isn't that crazy? I know. It's great and super thin. So where, Sony Bravia. Things, things just go down in price. Big time price. I got a discount, so that thing ain't, they ain't giving that away. Gorgeous. It's a hell of a TV right there. You got a TV, right? Didn't we got your TV, right? For, no, the ones I ordered, for whatever reason, they're all damaged. Yeah, it didn't come broke? Yeah. It was broke? They had like, it had like a freaking a fist inside it. Like someone actually punched the screen. Really? So I was like, I just stopped ordering after a while. I had two of them. So you stuck with two broken them. TVs now? No, I had to return them. And I actually ended up paying money out of my pocket to return them. Damn, that's fucked up. Yeah. You get it's all good. I don't need a TV. You have a nice TV at your crib, Kat? Mm-hmm. I have a flat screen. Don't use it very much, though. <coughs> Who doesn't have a flat screen, though? Yeah. Now, in this day and age, if, you don't? I don't know anyone that Imagine that somebody screen. has a bubble TV now. Like, what? With Kat's like, oh, I have the wooden one on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> With the antenna? <laughs> Fix the, the antenna. Ears? Fix the bunny ears, man. God, I'll never forget. Uh, we had a big. That's how it was when we were kids. We had one of those big wooden TVs that had like the cloth speakers on the side, and we would uh, always watch movies. And we'd always watch every Friday night. We'd watch like RoboCop or some shit like that or Bloodsport. Wow. And uh, we were all. We it'd be Jay, uh, me, and my dad be in the middle, and we'd sit down. This we had like this big like pillow that all three of us could fit on. And then we were sitting there, and it smelled like pure shit. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it smelled horrible. My dad does not play. You know, my dad, he goes, who farted? And I look at Jay, I'm like, I definitely didn't. And my dad's like, who the fuck farted? And I'm like, God, I have no idea. It smells, I mean, it smells awful. And my dad's like, seriously, guys, who farted? And he's like getting mad. And Jay's like, I swear to God, it wasn't me. I was like, dad, it wasn't me. My dad's like, well, someone did it. Like, getting all upset, stops the movie. He's like, who farted like that? And because it was like, it was fucking destroying the house like it was so bad and then my dad goes well something's up so I can, starts walking around and we had this cat dad let it go i know for sure relax if someone did relax but neither one of us did we had this cat we called it mama cat because we we're super creative she was the mom of the other cats we had this cat called mama cat that was a tabby decided you know what I don't like it here. Took a shit behind the TV oh. the size of a frisbee. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, my dad was so mad. Oh, dude. And he goes, unbelievable. Man. You fucking hate these cats. I'm not lying. I never saw a cat then from there on out. I don't know what he did with it. I don't know what happened I'm to fucking, it. I'm fucking in college. I come home with this girl I liked so much. She was so hot. And I was like, I couldn't believe she was coming back to my place. So, of course... I, I'm just like, I forget everything. We go at it. We start going at it. And we are just in the act. I Hot mean, and heavy, dude. Sex. Steamy. I'm having sex on With my the couch. smoke show. And, no protection on it. And I just smell. <laughs> I go. I go. No. And she goes. I go. It smells horrible. I go, oh, no. And she goes, 
Um, something's going on, and I look over at my pit bull. Is I didn't walk him because I I was so excited. So my dog was like, I can't hold it. He's squatting and shitting a giant shit right on my floor, not two feet away from us. Did it smell horrible? Saucer shit, Saucer. And sex. I was like the McDonald's. Saucer. I was like, oh, I gotta clean this up. Hold on, it was the, the biggest cock block of all war, time. The biggest cock block of all time. Today, I Did mean, this leave? weekend it just didn't go well. I don't remember. Um, yeah, I cleaned it up and, and we, oh. yeah. the, the, this, uh, this fucking, uh, weekend I went, I, I, something stunk in my house. I'm cleaning my house up and something stunk. I kept looking on the table. Where the fuck? Who shat? And is the dog farting? It was the plants, <coughs> the plants, the water and the plants had oh, been there that, a long time. Yeah, and they got, Man, that can smell like shit. Rot. Like Oof, rot. Yeah, it's nasty. When that, when the plant matter starts to decompose. Oof. <laughs> It was it was the worst. Yeah, animals Smelly will fuck pants. your day up, dude. Animals will fuck your day up. Animals will fuck your day up. You don't have or you have a dog, right, Jen? Yeah. <laughs> At your house? <laughs> my parents' house. Oh, so not yours. I'd okay. still nah, still my like, dog. Nah, not Take care you, of them. Nope, not walk yours. them. You walk them on the weekends when I'm there. So you're like a you're like a stepdad. To yeah, kind of. And cat, you have any dogs or cats? Uh, <laughs> no cats. One pup. At the house with you? Mm -hmm. What kind of pup? Uh, he's this little, he's like a terrier mix, like maybe terrier chihuahua mix. Did you mix. post any pictures of him? Uh, no. I don't think I've ever Not seen really. a picture of him. He looks like a rat, basically. Ooh, I like rats. I like working line German shepherds. I'll never have, like, uh, corgis and shepherds, best dogs. They're so smart. Sh German shepherds, if they're the real deal, if they come from <laughs> God, like that was police. that's aggressive, man. I know. She just, did you just one up cat? Yeah. Wow. I just missed her Why'd dog. Why'd you do that? I, I just, just missed her dog. Do, working German shepherds. All right. Well, take it easy. I've seen your dog. Jim, bring it's him up. Right. Bring up working line German shepherd. That's or don't. It's random yeah, let me just German show you who these fuckers are and I'll show you the kind of dog I'm talking working about. Working line German? Working yeah. line German shepherd. Don't make me repeat it. Let's get some pictures. <laughs> yours, yours is smaller, Again. though. Yeah. Yours is look at that skinny. guy. There you go. Fuck that, with that your dog. dog. Look at that look right like there, that. right there, right no, there. No, those are cool. Your dog doesn't look like that. That's a sable coated dog. Nope, those are cool. Yours does not look like the that. The couple wolves, couple one Yeah, wolves. for sure. No, that thing's badass. Yours is not Mine that. is smaller, but she will bite you especially she's in your friendly fucking fuck. face. Super friendly. Mm -hmm. You got a good one. I got a good one. Yeah, she's friendly. But those those dogs are. No, they're great. You know what you're doing when you Not got yours, but you know they're what great. You're doing. They are connected to you. There you go. That guy looks mean. Look at that motherfucker right there. That's my dog running <laughs> after a Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> the air dog does not look like that. That's my dog. Right there. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. Yeah, they're gorgeous. They'll do it. Why is that? They have that one leg on the back. So when they have, cause so they, that's how they make them pose, but also when you have a slope back dog like that, don't get it. What? That's that's bred by the AKC. That's a show line. You want a straight back dog. Yeah, they they bred them like yeah, that. Yeah, you want for an athletic show. straight back motherfucker. Yeah, they're all doing it. There, that's a straight back dog. See that? That's how he's standing. Hey, right there. So. you gotta calm down. Got short withers. <laughs> you know how I know you're not a tough guy when you're that into tough dogs. Oh, there oh, you go. Yeah. That thing's wolf. gnarly as fuck. That's a fucking wolf right there, bro. <laughs> Now, I gotta tell you, Dude, I, I swear to God, when when I get my coffee in the morning, this guy maybe three. I'm gonna. I posted it on my Instagram story like a few days ago. I'm gonna take a picture of it. There's a Siberian Husky, which is the biggest one I've ever seen. Then he also has a pet wolf, straight up wolf in Mar Vista. Really? It's a wolf. It's yeah. fucking huge. Yeah. And he goes, "Don't worry about him. He won't bite." I'm like, "Dude," because there's all these kids. Yeah. Here's the problem with wolves and kids. No, no, he's huge, yeah. huge man. So 200 he, pounds uh, and like fucking like this. A real wolf. I'm going to take a picture of it. Is so it a wolf or a wolf it's a, it's hybrid? A, it's a wolf hybrid, but, but it's still a lot of wolf. So here's the problem mm -hmm. with wolf hybrids that people don't ever talk about. They're wolves? Nope. Um, why are they dangerous around kids? They're friendly. They'll be good family dogs. Here's why they're dangerous around kids. Wolf hybrids mm -hmm. have a very, very high and pronounced um, pack, drive. pack, drive, pack, pack drive. sense. Pack sense. So the, everything is packed. So you're the leader of their pack. They look at children as below them in the pack. Uh, and then they'll look at children sometimes as competition in their pack, and they'll yeesh. take a kid out. And people who really know wolves will tell you no hybrids. They're they're not safe for kids. Kid, and I don't yeah. give a fuck. I know people are going to hit me up and go, "You don't know." Listen, the the evidence that's is out a, there. that's how big I, that thing. The thing is that Jesus, big. look at how gorgeous that thing's that, that big, is. but it's like a silver. Yeah, that's a black wolf hybrid. I've seen him. Yeah, and dude, and this, he just chills out. I'm like, dude, can you put it in the back there? <laughs> Super friendly with kids. I'm like, I don't give a no. fuck. If this thing decides so super to friendly freak around out. kids until an their leader is not there, until the the pack leader is not he, there. Yeah, he leaves it. Not a good idea. 
Not a good idea. And I don't care what he says. And the guy can tell I'm a little uneasy. I'm like, dude, come on, man. Around the kiddos? It's got a very high pack instinct. It's that that instinct is still in it because it's got a lot of wolf. They are gorgeous, though. Yeah, you can't have one as a pet. Not though. the best watchdogs, believe it or not, no. wolves. I German just, Shepherds. Man, though. I just want to, if I get another dog, I just want to, good God. That thing. That's, I'm telling you, that's how big this fucking thing is. That thing's amazing. I hope it's there tomorrow. I'm going to take a picture and be like, what's up now, bitch? They are amazing animals. <laughs> they're cool. Jeez, they're, fu- they're gnarly as fuck. Fuck yeah. Say wolf around Joe Rogan. He'll talk to about wolves for seven hours. <laughs> I've read books on you wolves. You know some wolves. I love them. They're fucking furious animals. Yeah. They're badass animals. Man. I just want to, I just want to, I don't want a fucking Ferrari for a dog now. I just want a, uh, I want like a lab or something. Like you want a predictable lab. animal, an animal you something don't have to worry about. super safe, sleeps in his bed. I don't need a Navy SEAL dog yeah, right now. Yeah, there you go. Look at that dog growling. That's a wolf right there. Fuck around with that thing. The thing is that they, when they bite switch. you, they'll bite your hand off. <clears throat> That'll bite your hand off. Oof. Yeah. It really will too. It'll bite your hand off. You don't see a lot of them. If it can crush an elk's thigh, it's going to... Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, that's Photoshop. Um, oh, I was, I'm, I'm watching that show on Showtime called uh, The Escape of Danamora. I hear good things. It's, a, it's one of the best shows I've seen in a long time. Really? It's a, it's a true story, right? But they were saying how uh, the two uh, prisoners that escaped, they their plan was obviously the girl they're hooking up with, they're just manipulating her to, to pick them up and then drive them to West Virginia. They didn't come up with a... Plan B if she didn't show. So she doesn't show. This is an all true story. This came out seven years ago. So no spoiler alert, you fucks. So she doesn't show, right? So they have to figure out on their own. You know what? They didn't take into consideration two things. Well, you're in the upper state uh, area Cold. of New York. Well, it's in the summer, oh. but the, but they're going through the woods. Oh, wow. So you got to deal with those animals up there. Oh, the animals in the woods. Then there. also. The, the the homeboy on the left there in that picture mm-hmm. is the skinnier or on the right there. The skinnier one, he's in shape. He's a bit of a beast. The dude on the left is horribly out of shape. Mm. Well, you're hiking, jogging, running for hours upon hours. So you get hungry and thirsty, and you break down quick. And he and then he said the guy on the left just started start complaining like, dude, fuck this. I'm just gonna. I don't. I want to die. And so the guy on the right was like, I'm out of here, man. You're a bitch. I gotta keep going. So he went off on his own. Homeboy on the left. Decides to hunker down, pop, pop, shot in the face three times, son. Yeah, but dude, you're kind of spoiling everything. <laughs> it's happened seven years. I know, years. but we don't True care. Story. We want to watch the show, bro. The, the, I didn't know any of that. I knew this. I didn't know any if of that. You, no, you, but you don't watch the news like that. If I you, know, but you I want to watch, news, watch the show, bro. Stop spoiling the fucking show. <laughs> you're recapping in a bad way the great show that I'd like to watch. No, I don't need you gonna, hey, telling you're me. You're not going to watch it. <laughs> you don't have showtime. Yeah, yeah. You don't watch shows. Yes, I fucking do. Name a show do. you're watching. Name a show. So I'm, I just watched three <laughs> episodes of the new Narcos, you son of a bitch. Narcos? That came Came out three months ago. The one the Mexican them, yeah. one. Who's your favorite character? Cop. The, ex- the cop. The ex cop. Yeah, and don't tell me what happens in that because I'm only two, three. It's episodes. the worst season of Narcos. You know why it's the worst season? I made it. You be- don't care. There's you no know bad why? guy. Yeah, we you have also, no one to root for. Exactly. And and I and, went over this with Todd. You know, all, Todd's guy does it. Uh, and I went, dude. I text him. Just it's not the and best. Also, we also know that we know how it ends because there is no ending. And also, this is all a waste of time. This war on drugs. So How's it going? So how are you going to say you know how it ends, bitch? When we watched the the one on uh, Pablo Escobar, we know the ending. Yeah. Same with this No, movie. I didn't know. And now you got to tell me about You literally recap the whole episode. <laughs> God damn it, Brendan. Well, no. I, you want me to tell you what happened? No, I don't. And nobody else does either. It's not like I'm not reading the news accounts of Escape. I see a show that I want to see and I want to watch it's a, it. It's a based I don't show. fucking care. But you watch Narcos and if I went, dude, Pablo Escobar no, dies at I the end, would you go, I this is hear. ridiculous. I don't want to hear what happens in the episode because it's like it's a story that's been crafted. A oh, fucking spoiler. Well, no, it's not you know story, what, dude? dude? I don't need. Hey, do me a favor. Don't recap the show. All right. Well, bad... guess what? I saw Spider Man too. No, don't tell me that. Either. It's a kid with fucking spider skid- <laughs> skills. You fuck. <laughs> not the same. God damn it! It's a real story, dude. I apologize to everybody. I don't fuck. educate yourselves. Spoiler it came out in 2015. I knew those facts in 2015. I remember the story, though. No, you don't. I do. Sure don't. Because when I asked you things about it, you didn't know, dude. Well, who's... Uh, who, oh, those two play... Yeah. Oh, shit. Do, do you know who the the her husband is spot on? I mean, it looks like the real husband. Yeah. I saw the real dude. I'm like, holy fucking the way they talk. 
Benicio del Toro is a hell of an actor. Oh my God, he my doesn't miss. No. He doesn't miss. He's like Clint Eastwood. He loves the. He likes getting in the character. Oh my, he put on some lbs. How about Ben? Uh, yeah, Ben uh, Stiller directed that. He's great. I think it's his first directing Benicio job. Benicio del Toro. Benicio's a monster. Where is he from? Mexico. Absolutely, Puerto Rico. He's Puerto Rican, bro. Puerto Rico. He's a bad motherfucker. I'll tell you what, though. Like, you know, obviously my girl's Mexican as fuck. If you call someone else the wrong Mexican, or you're like, oh, are they Spanish? or Man. They, I mean, also, in like Narcos, they put Spanish or Venezuelan or, you know, certain. And she's like, oh, my God, they're not even close. Dude, my, my friend who She's like, they're not even close, yeah. man. Like, not you close. can tell right away. Hold, totally different. It'd be like casting a guy from the South as it, in the no, in Boston. Right. Like, we could pick up. Like, dude, that's not Boston. No, it'd be like casting somebody from the South for England. I mean, it's a completely different accent and everything. You know, it's like. Um, Has when, he directed anything, Chin? Yeah, a bunch. Oh, wow. He directed Tropic Thunder? Ben no. Affleck? I know he did Cable He's all his guy. director credits, yeah. Ben Affleck, you're saying? Yeah. Ben Stiller. No, Ben, oh, ben Stiller. Stiller. Oh, yeah. I know he did, uh, he did the cable guy with uh, Judd Apatow. Um, he did yeah, a lot of it. Museum, right? Didn't he? No, he didn't direct it. Reality Bites. Interesting. Yeah, he did Flirting with Disaster, I think, too. I think. Zoolander 2, that was a tough one. I didn't see it because I liked Zoolander 1. I heard it's a bummer. Hmm. Yep, that's it. He had prostate. Would you want to direct or anything, Brian? I think so. Maybe. It's never really been it's never been a huge thing for me. You don't want to do it? You know, man, I, I mean, um I don't know, I kinda lost my I like writing and I like stand up and I don't think anything compares. I mean I, What do you mean? I, I, it, um directing is a lot of work and a lot of meticulous you gotta detailed love it. work and I don't love <clears> it. <throat> And uh, and as far as doing like the acting that Benicio del Toro, I used to think that's what I want to do. I have so little interest in it. In being like, a, like a drama, I mean, dramatic so actor? So little interest in bringing a character to life in the costume and, and getting in character and being in character and being around other actors who are in character. I have – I can't think of anything in a lot of ways more torturous. Sorry to say really? that out loud. Why the yeah. change of uh, opinion? I just love stand up and I like comedy and I just Do you think I, that's I've because you've been out that you know what I'm saying like you're not on the road cuz when you're on the road like that that third or fourth show you're like Jesus Christ man I can't wait to be home. It's a, maybe it's, it's the, like a the, love, writing, hate the writing and the challenge of stand up and and, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I think because being on a film is so tedious it's it's you're there all day for so little acting it's a lot but I, I just don't I'm not interested I feel like it's not the most efficient way to do it either huh but it's just the way it's done it's a manual process it's just they the gotta, way it's done you gotta get lighting the so way strange. it is you, the only way to do lighting is to take your hands <clears throat> and, and fix Figure the it out. filter and change the lens and it's just a science and look at it did it work use the, use the stand in for it and you wait around and I just don't want to do that I don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck i don't mm. i the, the process of making film is so detailed with yeah. so many people not gonna be the next batman hey wait a minute hold on i didn't say that yeah you can't just say that is anybody listening to this not no. the next robin that's for fuck uh, sure. i want to be the robin who would you like to play what's your what's your role couldn't tell you you're a little lukewarm on acting itself you like showbiz and stand-up and comedy but yeah i mean if it was something fun i'd be down to do it yeah but as far as it being like my profession 24 7 being on set me, dude call me sometime when you you'll do a movie and you're gonna oh, be yeah. on there for two months you give me a call well i did that movie i was on set for four days i'm like yeah you know what my feet are hurting it's yeah. kind of what i want to do yeah yeah <laughs> especially it's not my passion you're just like me that's not what i want to do you're just like me and then, let me well let me i also I, I hate to be away from i'm a homebody so you want to put me in that situation or you want to ship town. me off to Vancouver or Out something? Of town. No. Not for me. Now, if you want me to play Batman or some fun role and it's a big deal, I'll I'll put up with it. You will? Well, it depends how long it is. You can't send me a Siri or some shit for three months. Yeah, that's what happens. I remember when Ryan uh Ryan Philippi, I was I'm seeing something. He came up and it was this kids and I was like, How you doing? He said, I just finished doing a movie and I was in Namibia for nine months What's in that? the desert, Africa. He goes, it was brutal. And uh, I, it was a movie that I auditioned for, I remember. 
And uh, he's a great guy. But I remember just going, that is not what I want to do. <clears throat> you know Ryan Phillippe, right? I know of him. So I did, I, I'm not trying so to be funny. mean in no, any facet. Is no, he still alive? So funny how <laughs> is so, he still alive? He was I'm, married, I'm not still he was married to Reese Witherspoon. He's got kids. It was, it's so funny, though, how... Um, he was the big deal back yes, in the day. Yes, how celebrity Cruel changed. Intentions. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's so funny. He's, I know he's what shot, you did he last summer. The, he hates the limelight. He stays away from any kind of... No, he's uh, definitely staying away from it. No, you're right about that. Yeah, he's in Shooter. Yeah. Uh, I, he's not, is he still doing it? Is he, sometimes they go behind the scenes, you know? Yeah, no, he's still doing it. But it's just funny how acting... He's done a lot of stuff. Go to the recent ones, Jen. What's he been? It's in that series. 2016, The Shooter. Yeah, that's still airing right now, right? <clears throat> he was in some great stuff. Yeah. Good looking dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was in Crash. That was a good fucking film. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he was really good. Cruel Intentions, obviously, his big one. Still a dime piece. You ever see him around? Cute guy. Still a cutie. Still a cutie, well proportioned. Not a big guy. <laughs> Not a big guy, but well proportioned. That's a lot of info, dude. Yeah. You is he? You're too young for him, right, Cat? Right no, I think he's fine. Okay. Wow. I remember you, seeing him Cruel Intentions, and I think I thought he was a <clears throat> little too pretty in that one. Yeah. A little too pretty for me. <sighs> he's a he's a he's a good guy. There. But him older, I like. Yeah, he looked. Yeah. Been some big movies. He's been doing it for a hot minute, man. Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, hot minute, a long time. Little he kid looked, there, he's a child actor. Oh, daytime drama, one life to live. How about if you're fucking Clint Eastwood, just been doing it for eighty nine years old? Did you see the mule? I didn't see no. it. No, writing. I saw Spider Man. Writing, directing, like he's just composing the music for his movies. Do you know deep. that? What? Just balls deep. You didn't know he composes the music. Oh, so he's all. <clears throat> might want to look it up. Uh, you ever if see Pale really Rider? Composes? You ever see Pale Rider? Whoa. An audio file oh, has he, uh, been crashed for music all his life. Oh, he plays wow. he plays and composes the music for his films. Wow. Okay? On Jesus a high Christ. level. Any other questions about one of the greatest movie stars ever and directors ever? And So composers? he's been acting since 1961. That's correct, sir. So 1960 to 2000... Do everybody should do themselves a favor and go watch yeah, some of his old movies, basically. like The Iger Sanction yeah, or um, or Pale Rider. Holy Never fuck! No, have you ever seen you know Pale Rider? No, I said, yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Dude. The Outlaw Josie Wales. Dude, send me a copy. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. <laughs> a couple of things we need. To no, 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 dude, I'm gonna watch it. No, that, hey, no, just send me the USB. No, I'm dude, serious. send me the link. No, send me the link. You're. Dude, send me the link. Do you have I, a link for it? I'm, Wait, what? We go back to his. I, I'm, I'm about to get furious, and I'm going to try to stay calm. Pale Rider. Pale Rider. And the Outlaw Josie Wales. No, scroll back up, Chin. Does first and the Outlaw up. Josie Wales? Unforgiven. Do you and see? No, no, go to the bottom. Do you see? Un- Let's go through it for a sec. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, dude. Hold on. Can you? Hold on. Do you have a copy of? Let's Revenge start with of dirty, the creature? Let's start with Dirty Harry. No, no, no. Let's let's start keep with going. keep going up, please. No, start with Star in the Dust, nineteen fifty six. Keep going, please. Keep going. But we can pass all this stuff because the fistful of dollars, phenomenal. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, the good, the bad, dude, and the the good, the bad, high? and the ugly. Dude, raw high. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly. Are you kidding? No, I hang them that. high. Hold on. Keep going. I'll tell you what. For my money, it doesn't get better than paint your wagon. <laughs> Write this down, you guys. Dirty Harry. Oh, well, I've only started everything. High Plains Drifter. Stop. Who's he played? The Stranger. High Plains Drifter. Dude, these preach. were the ultimate. The ultimate. The ultimate fucking westerns. And, and the and, and don't be scared because they're black and white. Don't be scared because the, they're black no, they're and white. Not. The Iger no, Sanction. They are. Don't the outlaw Josie Wales and the Iger Sanction. Dude, tell him. Shut up right now. Tell him, bro. Dude, bro, 1984, Tight Rope? Any yeah, fucking great questions? Movie. Great movie. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> hey, I don't have to beat you up in the name of Clint Eastwood. I don't want to have to fight you for real because you're starting to diss something that's really important. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize. You're not sorry no, because you're being... All you got to do... You're being... Dude, send me a link. Send me a link. <laughs> <laughs> right. Dude, send me a link. You're being fucking disrespectful. Dude, send me a link. Dude, all you got to do is send me a link to Clint Eastwood's old movies. Dude, I swear to God, I'm going to close my fist. Do it. Ow. 
All right, send me a link. You know what, dude? I don't give a fuck anymore. What? Now listen up. What is this? Listen up. This is fucking. Is this this is hurt? fucking right there. Now where are you gonna go? This is exactly. nothing. What up? Get the fuck off me! All right, dude. Get my coffee. My... Ah! <laughs> Get the fuck. Left me no choice. <laughs> ah! Oh shit. Left hey! me no choice. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah. Do you complain this? Ah! Ah! Say Clint Eastwood sucks. Say it. Fuck. Say it. Sucks. All right. Pussy. He sucks pussy. Okay. Okay. You left me no choice. That's not right, dude. Clint, I want to apologize. You can't put me in an ankle lock like that. Sucks pussy. It's gonna get in the way of my boxing. Okay. Apologize to all the viewers. (laughs) Sorry, you guys. We get a little. I just get pissed in off. The name of people. Clint, you know, bro. I'm gonna take this. How's your, how's your, oh, your Jay did send you the shirts. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Those look cool. I've never seen them. Yeah, they look good. Man, you're out of breath, bro. You're not in shape for me? jiu-jitsu. I'm good, bro. You put me in a fucking ankle lock, which I gave to you. Yeah. Doesn't the name? I gotta of, start greasing my fucking foot and ankle. Doesn't the name of Clint, bro? All I said was send me a link, and you couldn't back it up. It pissed me off. Heartbreak Ridge. The Gauntlet, 1977. Great movies. Go watch his old movies. Please do. Do me a favor for a second. Don't do that. All I want you to do is bring up High Plains Drifter and the scene where, for the first time, the bullies, the bad guys, see plenty. Oh, God. For my money, doesn't get any better. Now, listen. We're going to bring this up. Go ahead and take a hard nap (laughs) if you're listening to this at home. You said (laughs) bullies. Bro? All right, all right. Sorry, dude. You're going to make me No mad. more. No more. I'm sorry. Ah, there it is. Any the saloon are, scene um, where well, they I, punch the horse? The, the saloon scene might be good. Let's see the saloon scene or or the whipping revenge, one or the other. Mm, look at that <laughs> set, bro. God, it's good. <laughs> oh, shit. God, that acting's good. Hold on. That set looks so legit. Hold on. Some great actors, though. Some great character actors back in the day. <laughs> Clear skies, give him that. He was a great cowboy, though. Yeah, yeah he was. The, the sounds of the horse's footsteps don't match up at all, but let's not worry about this. Listen to it. Is that a train? Look at him looking at the stranger. <laughs> I think it's just going to be this the whole way through, huh? Just him riding the town. Leave this stupid bitch. Don't say stupid bitch. <laughs> Not what he's thinking. He always played these characters that just came in and didn't say anything. That's, that's that actress. I'll tell you what. I watch this. I go, I can't do that. <laughs> I watch this. I go, I can't do that. Yeah. See how he's just saying nothing yeah, and just, just riding, riding on tight. the horse? He's riding tight. It's t- he it was takes always a real not, skill. not say much. Man, this might not have been the best scene. But <laughs> <laughs> the you see how they, it is great the way they would like... Who is this guy? I will film this right now on my iPhone. Uh oh. Hold on. I just love the sound of the train. Oh, God. Those sets look so legit, dude. <laughs> oh, there's the saloon. There's the boys. Oh, these are the, the bad saloon. guys. Oh, there's the. Oh, midget alert. Yeah. <laughs> Here are the bad guys, dude. Look at them. Look at him. Look at him. Good he looking look right dude, back. though, bro. Yeah, great I'll looking dude. I'll give him dude. that. Great looking dude. Good looking dude. And he looked right back at you. There was the Clint Scowl. Fucking sit down, because that's the Clint Scowl. Mm-hmm. Mean. So he walked by, and these guys... Do you think Clint Eastwood fucked all the girls back then? Uh, there's no question. I think he's got about 27 kids. He does. And and he didn't like... See how that guy whipped that horse? He doesn't not like that. It. He doesn't like when you whip a horse. Okay? You got to know that. This scene fires me up, bro. I find it inspiring. It's about to. I'll say something. I find this inspiring. It's, it's about to. And uh, fuck you, Avatar dude, 2. Dude, how <laughs> I'll about I'll take that? this. How about that scarf around his neck? Oh, shit. Tomb. Uh, listen, I like the jacket. He's wearing spurs, bro. You hear those spurs? Oh, shit. Dude. Mm. Dude, he's, he's walking over. Fuck, bro. He's walking over. There's no, no, oh, 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 they're all deaf in this town. Oh, I've seen this one. Yeah, they don't talk. 
Yeah, they're all deaf. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've seen this what country no. western. Look, man, no, it's good. They're all you deaf. Gotta have some patience because here's no, they the, all they're all deaf. Bro, here's the saloon. No, it's actually scary. This is a, this is a horror. Watch this. Yeah, no one says anything. Taller too than most. Taller. God, for my money, it's big. Whiskey. Yeah, it's big. You know what I like about these movies too? The diversity. It's a peaceful hour. <laughs> Like, I watch this, I go, you know what, bro? Bullshit, man. Bullshit. It's this not man. equal these back then. Bullshit. Uh-oh. You look at this set, Hold you on, tell me. Dude. Hold on, bros. Something's about to pop off. Bro, that's how I do it. Sleep in range bums don't usually stop in Lego. Who's that sexy cowboy on the right, huh? Mr. Steel, your girl. Look at him just pulled up. Not those fucks. Kill him, dude. You see him look up slow. The snarl, bro. Always had that snarl. Check out that dumbass. Psych. Dude. About to be a bunch of gunslingers here. Faster than you'll ever live to be. Dude, he would whisper. Not, not faster than you'll ever be. Not faster than you'll ever be. I probably stop a chin so we don't lose Hold on, every we listener. Gun, we, have. we gotta see the gunfight. We don't have to play this whole thing. Maybe we can edit. Oh, yeah, that's it. Can, yeah, just get an edit. Oh, uh, I don't know. How long's this whole bit been? That was it. Oh wow. No, but he is a big deal, dude. Uh, yeah. Can I see the comments on that uh, one? Just is there any funny mm-hmm. comments? Well, it's probably all older people. Like, um, Clint was born a few months after my dad. My dad's a cowboy who grew cattle and wretch. Don't give a fuck. Uh, great scene, great actor. All his movies are great. Man, it's all positive for mm-hmm. him. Well, he's the yeah. He was the great. It's western. also, but also you're not getting the younger audience who are going to hate. He was him also it. the great western. I mean, he made great westerns because they were real stories. That horse sounds With like a train. Characters. Preach, characters. dude. Preach, music lover. Nine three six one. The ultimate western <laughs> tough guy. Clint is a damn fine actor. Barely. Clint Eastwood can suck my dick. Wow. Who okay, said that? Keep Where, going, Chip. Who said that? Keep going. I don't see it. Yep. No one said that. Clint Eastwood fucked my mom. Shit no, actor. No. At underscore no, 2797. That's not true. Wow, You're dude. just reading these things. It's all lies. Clint Eastwood sucked my dick. No. Yeah, surprise. Spoiler. No. Gay as shit. No, no. At turn Mark these, underscore Laurent. No, turn these off. Turn these off. This is ridiculous. <laughs> dude, Clint Eastwood swallowed my jizz. No, no, no. This is a lie. You're no, fucking dude, making this I'm stuff not, up. These are these comments. No, I don't see any of it. Clint Eastwood would have been working construction in L.A., and none of us would have ever heard of him if he couldn't ride a horse. It's hard to look like a stud strolling up center of town. P.S. He fucked my mom twice. No, no. Jesus well, Christ, R7 true. goats. It might be true. Um, all right, well, you can, you can change it now. Let's that was on. filmed in California, it says. Let's go to some current events, man. Yeah, man, let's get off sure. Clint Eastwood's nuts. Cat. So, just a little update to the... Um, fake moon landing story that we did last week. The Golden State Warriors played Sacramento Kings, and while they were in the stadium, the Kings played video of the moon landing to troll them. Hilarious. And Steph Curry came out and said that he was joking during the podcast, and someone from NASA offered him, along with other guys, a tour of NASA to show them. To educate him? Yeah, to educate uh, him. And he said he'd love to go. That's the only thing I think the Sacramento Kings have done right this season, but that's good. That's hilarious. A six nine center from UCLA, number five, Kevon Looney. God, who's announcing them? Zero energy. Washington State, number eleven, Clay Thompson. That's so funny. A six three point guard, number thirty, Stephen Curry. The head coach of the Warriors, Steve Kerr. That's pretty mm-hmm. funny. Good for them, dude. Damn good. What else we got, man? Here you go. So, uh-huh. Pete Davidson posted something up on Instagram saying that he didn't want to be here anymore. And he shortly after deleted the post along with his entire Instagram account. Oh, and a lot of this? people reached out to I him. I reached out to him. I yeah. texted him, yeah. Ariana Grande actually flew out after uh, finding out about the thing that he posted up, went to Saturday Night Live, and was waiting for him downstairs. <gasps> Damn. He showed up for Saturday Night Live very shortly just to introduce Miley, but he wasn't in the show. Um, 
Is he, is he had a history of depression or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he has. Oh. Here's Borderline what... personality uh, disorder as well. Oh, shit. I didn't know. It's that. horrible, man. Ooh. Yeah, hopefully he's all right. He was just saying, like, I told you I don't want to be here anymore, so don't say I didn't warn you, stuff like that. Could be a cry for help, too. You know, it's like. Definitely a cry for a help. cry for help. You know, he needs a lot of help, man. So it's a fucking bummer. Here, here's where it got our boy Rappaport just. Just tone deaf to certain situations. Like he made fun of Kanye, who talked about mental disorders, and then Pete Davidson, and he just roasted him. I think I think Rapport had to do an apology because it's bad, man. Mm. Well, yeah, there you go. Nicki Minaj got it right. She goes, "Y'all did the same thing to Mac Miller until he died." So strange how people, they, they know these guys have, uh, so here's his message goes, I really don't want to be on this earth anymore. I'm doing my best to stay here for you, but I actually don't know how much longer I can last. All, all I've ever tried to do was help people. Just remember I told you Damn, story. Man, he put that on his Instagram? Yeah, then he took it down. Oof. It's just so strange that people fucking, they know he suffers from stuff and they still go at him. Mm. Like how bad of a person do you have to be, man? That's not tough, man. I know. I don't know. Him. I don't know much about him. But what else you got? So Kanye went on another tweet tirade. Oof. He's been, according to him, off his meds for the last six months. Uh, and during that time, he tweeted a bunch of things about him and Drake coming after his family, a whole spiel of things. And he talks about mental health as well. He's currently off of his meds to work on his next album. He says that he can't write a good album with his, while being on his meds and being healthy. Okay. And that's why he's back on Twitter. And you guys saw this. Joe Rogan said that he wanted to have him on the show to talk about mental health. Uh, could there be a better platform for him? I know they're like, oh, you're just saying because Joe's your boy. No, think about this. Joe's not affiliated with any big media outlet. So R- Kanye can go on there. He can go on there for an hour. He can go on there for two hours. He can go on there for three hours. And Joe has no bias. There's nothing. He's just going to let him air out whatever he wants. Name a better platform. I think I agree. Go. Name a better, name a bigger platform. Go. I agree. Kanye can go on The Tonight Show. He can go on Jimmy Fallon. He can go on Stephen Colbert. He can go on CNN. Name any show, any show, and nothing's bigger than Joe Rogan's show. And not only that, you get three for hours. Open on, platform. You get three hours for Rogan. But you, don't have, you do three. You do an hour. If you get out in 30, it doesn't yeah. matter. There's no agenda. You go on there and talk about your shoes the entire time. That's true. Joe's not going to press you on anything. Yeah, actually. Joe has no agenda. There's mm-hmm. nothing. He just talks. I don't know why he wouldn't do it. Notice how he says, I'd be happy to talk to you. It's not an interview. You know? See what happens, though. Yeah. Hmm. What else you got? So, an actor on the Andy Mack show, which is a Disney show, uh, got arrested recently for trying to... Uh, hook up with a 13-year-old girl, or a girl that he thought was 13 online. <sighs> Damn. It was a part of a sting operation. He got catfish. I mean, he got basically... Um, Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. Mm-hmm. Wow. You want to take a seat? Wow. And he was on a Disney show? He's on a Disney show. Uh, well, He's playing uh, the catfish. grandpa of this little girl. Jesus Christ. And Disney issued a uh, message right away after this happened, saying that he was released, and... That in everybody's best interest, he will no longer be on the show. They have no affiliation with him because Disney is such a family Man, friendly child show. On a dating app, and that individual Jesus a thirteen year old. How did he know that that she was thirteen? He, I, he he was from a, uh, was a dating he, app. Oh, he yeah. liked to play with booty yeah. hole. Yeah. Yeah. It was a thirteen year old male. Oh, Jesus boy. Christ! He sent images of himself before taking a ride sharing vehicle with the intent to meet the individual. Wow. What is he thinking anyway? Like, what are you doing? This is Salt Lake City? Mm-hmm. Damn. What a weird dude. Ah, oh, look at him. <laughs> what else you got? Wow. The guy's super fucked. See ya. It'd be tough to get a job at Disney after that, man. Uh, yeah. A job anywhere. <laughs> that. All right. Well, as you know, everyone's been tagging us. Have you seen this, the show you, on this. You saw this long neck kid? Remember the wide deck guy? Yeah. So you know there's a long neck kid? Yeah. So they paired up. Yeah. And they're all over the ins- sure. like Instagram, World Star. Now they're rappers. Hit it, Chin. They're really, cap- really capitalizing on their uh, recent. Hold on, pause it for a second. Who would you rather be? You have to pick. Thick neck. 
You rather be thick neck? Yeah. You want thick neck? Yeah. Yeah. That's Gotta be thick neck. Yeah. Yeah. Long yeah neck. You don't be yeah. daddy long neck. Yeah. Daddy long neck. You don't want that. All right, carry on. Next up, no girls coming after them. Oh wow! Whoa. Look at her tongue, dude. How much money did that girl get paid? Look at that fucking tongue. That girl's hot as shit. <laughs> His face. <laughs> All she does is keep licking them, though. That's her thing. That's her thing. Bro. Now, Brian, do you think you and tongue. I could rap better She's than this right tongue. now? Do, so, do they have a disability? That girl is. I'm not, I'm not mad distracting. At her at all. I don't even notice these stupid necks. I'm not mad at her at all. <laughs> no. Neither one. How of those old guys is Long dating. Neck Daddy? He must be 18. Why does he have acne? I don't know. But he's so skinny. God, I feel like girl. How much they pay to act like this asshole in this though? And they film this at the mall apparently. The wide neck's not comfortable on camera apparently. Huh? He's not. He's kind of a modest kid probably. She's delicious. I approve. Yeah. I, I'm not too crazy about the long neck kids, but she is. Da- damn <clears throat> long neck. Okay. <laughs> well, how long do you think their neck. fame lasts, bro? What I call high art. How long do you think their fame it lasts? just ended, buddy. It just <laughs> ended. It never started. <laughs> what else you got? Mm-hmm. Just ended, sir. Just ended. I'm hoping you saw this, Brennan. Stephen A. Smith. I, I, I didn't see. I usually watch first take. Two, okay, okay. This one. So he was naming off different people that weren't <laughs> even playing. <laughs> no, talking about a game. I'll, I'll just show you right now real Some quick. Shit I would and do. the thing is, look at... Look at the other panelists. <laughs> well, Teddy Bruschi. Max Keller. Lee Teddy Bruschi is like, what the fuck? So you know like, who Teddy Bruschi is, yeah? yeah? I like all of them. I, yeah, I like I, Stephen. I like all of them, yeah. I mean, Stephen. Uh, all right. I'm keeping Smith's my eyes on this matchup right here. Spencer you got Ware's your linebacker. Out. I'm sorry? Spencer Ware is out. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He is out. But I'm thinking Tyreek Hill. I'm yeah. thinking Patrick Mahomes. I'm also looking at the San Diego Chargers on offense, and I'm thinking about Hunter Henry and the way that he's played this year and as effective as he's been. He's going up against Derrick Johnson, and I got to keep my eye <laughs> Look in the middle right now. <laughs> from the standpoint. Uh, listen, here's, here's, here's where I'm at with all of this. At the end of the day, I'm looking at Patrick Mahomes. I'm looking at... <laughs> so you can see the list of stuff he had wrong here. So Spencer, Spencer Rowe was out. Henry Hunter has a great season according to him. Derrick Johnson not in the NFL currently. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Johnson used to be a famous uh, Chiefs linebacker, though. So yeah, he just doesn't follow it, huh? Yeah, oh, that's embarrassing. Well, there it says right there, right? Spencer foot injury. The Hunter Henry Teddy Bruschi's face. Yeah, he's that's offended. Funny he's like motherfucker. Uh, was Bruschi? Does he have any Samoan in him or? Play Arizona Mexican, I think. Teddy Bruschi, Italian. I... Where he's from. What's his nationality? No, you. He... Is that right? He played Teddy at Bruce Arizona. He's like a he wildcat. Uh, Tough. How long did he play for? Like at least 10 years. Hot second. Bruce, Bruce he's an Italian. American. From California. Grandmother was uh, <clears throat> Italian. Really? Yep. Football. Filipino. Ah, Italian and Filipino. Something good eye. there, right? There you go. Very good eye. He's go. a stud, man. He's a Super stud. stud. All right, what else you got? Yep. And then that's uh, funny though. This is um, John Gruden's reply to him. You can see here. I don't know these names, so but he goes talk to the team. We've got to get ready that's for hilarious. Dan Ross and yeah, watch for Isaac Curtis down the middle. We got to get Tim Brown and all the receivers ready to play. Tim Brown retired. <laughs> I mean, forever ago. <laughs> that's hilarious. He really uh, did that. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's hilarious. What else? All right. This. A human heart was left on a Southwest flight. And right. 90 minutes into the flight, they found out and it had to turn around and go back. Because it was waiting to be transferred. Yeah. So luckily, if it was the actual heart heart, it would have been a loss. But they're just going for the valves, which oh. lasted. Because there's only a certain amount of time it, can, it could stay fresh yeah. or whatever. Uh, hold on. Why are we flying a human heart on That's another Southwest? weird thing. It's a weird thing because people fast. are like, huh? Well, it's fast. It's what, sir? It's fast. You can't. You can't take it by horse and buggy anymore. <laughs> Southwest. Why the fuck would you put it on Southwest? <laughs> Why don't you want a more expensive airplane? I mean, like a private jet. UPS. I mean, you could first class. I mean, there's so many. Southwest doesn't even get anybody on time, let alone a hard on time. Yeah. But it's still mysterious. There's like a lot of mysterious things about this. Why? But it. So the reason why I was left off was because someone forgot it because a courier was supposed to pick it up. And the courier just didn't pick it up. But it doesn't give you a lot of details From on Southwest who left though? it there. Huh? 
that's so strange from Southwest. Some so it means maybe a private courier decided to fly Southwest. Well, they have the, they, they, no, no. The so I think when the plane lands, the, the courier's supposed to grab that package, but for some reason that didn't happen. Yeah, whole thing's weird. Yeah, it's very for weird. Sure, if I need a heart transplant, don't use Southwest to get it to me. That's pretty interesting. What else you got? The swimmer who was swimming on her own and then saw orcas next to her. She thought were dolphins at first. Orcas are not yeah. necessarily the nice either. Experience. And I thought, oh, dolphins. And I was quite excited. And then I saw the white, that great white color on, on the back. Look how close they get to her. Oh, These are dolphins. Don't say great white, though. Three of them, likely an adult, a juvenile, and a calf, swimming around Judy, the largest virtually nipping at her toes. I thought, God. You know, they're big and they're scary. Judy Johnson's lived in Hahe for years. Normally meets up with friends for a morning swim. When nobody else turned up, I thought, well, it's just me. Also on the beach, Aussie tourist Dylan Brayshaw. He was shocked when he saw Judy blindly swimming towards the killer whales. I've seen the trainers get harmed in captivity, but... In the wild, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what was going to happen. Amateur photographer? He had a drone. This is so cool. He he was actually caught this, luckily. And I'm in a black wetsuit. At the far end of the beach, Judy got out. Ask yourself this. That's so cool, though. Imagine if I was to see them and took their flipper and went... Yeah. They've never (laughs) had... There's never been one recorded instance of an orca in the wild wild ever biting or hurting a human being. Yeah, there is. No, that no, in blackfish in the. Oh no, 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 no! Though there is. In the oh wild, no, there is. In the wild, where'd you read that? I, I, Shin, go on to YouTube. You talk about when it grabs the lady by the fucking ankle and flies no, in the water. That's, that's in Sea World. Nope, not in real. No, life. this is real. No, but not not in the wild. Definitely There's never is. been an instance. I promise you. Orca attack human. Um, uh, wild. No. <clears throat> Sorry, sir. Yeah, never. I think this is just. No, never happened. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, there, there's a, there's a, there's a lady. She that's had pulled this under. This is the one where it pulled her under in SeaWorld. No, must see Costa Rica. Oh, the orcas kill the dolphins. Oh my god, they eat dolphins. I forgot about that. Here. Yeah. No, that's not. No, it. no. I'm telling you, there's a video of this lady swimming. It grabs her by the foot and goes. So that was in. Maybe it's just playing though. No, yeah, but that's they've never. It's never. Oh, it they've never attacked anyone. Only one person has ever been injured in wild orca. Four people have been killed. Let's look at this. In captivity. Well, in captivity. You so can't, an orca you dragged a diver in New Zealand below the ocean surface for more than 40 seconds earlier this month. That's the one that you must be talking uh, about. Yep. There's an attack. Many people who work with wild orcas are not so sure. They think you're just playing. Yeah, because if it wanted mm. to kill you, forget it. Even that one, that was, the one we saw was like nipping at her, <clears> the bottom playing. of her feet. So It'd be scary, though, if you're in the water. Oh, Yeah. I mean, they're they're, they're savage. Uh, they laugh at gray whites. You, what do you got? You got a gray white? Oh, good. I'm going to eat you now. They no, eat it, it gray eats whites. its spleen out. It eats the liver first. A lot right. of gray whites are just missing their livers. Yeah, because it loves the taste of the gray really? white liver. Yeah, the nutrients so in the it liver kills it like that and rips the liver out. Fuck. That's amazing. Yeah, <sighs> go according to the story, the whale never actually touched the guy. Just grabbed his flipper, I guess. Oh, well, yeah. Huh. There you go. Pulled him under. Yeah. That's really interesting. What else you got, man? I got this. Do you remember this story a while ago, a while ago of the Indian dude on a plane were next, sitting next to his wife and started fondling the girl next to him while she was sleeping? No, I forget this one. So this is what... <laughs> Definitely don't. Do you remember this? He looks like the kind of guy that would fondle I would not fall sleep. asleep next to that fucking guy. What a dick. Yeah. So he was sitting behind to nine his years. wife and a victim who saw she was asleep at the time. She woke up to find uh, find her shirt and trousers unbuttoned. His hands were in her trousers. That is so funny. What was she? What was he she said that she said that she woke up to him inside her, his fingers inside her. Well, okay. So what happens here, Chin? Jailed for nine years. Nine years. Mm-hmm. Interesting, I right? So weird, dude. Well, I, I think that's the kind of guy who's a rapist. So I don't think that's no. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like he's a wife. bad, bad man. Agree. And he's a rapist. So the longer he's in jail, the better to me. Mm. Like I, I don't believe that. That's when you do something little like that, you do something big. You know, that's and brazen. <laughs> it's a Jimmy. Jimmy Burke was on a plane, on train one time, and he was getting off, and the, this this dude, this girl was sitting there reading, and the guy reached out, grabbed her tits, 
and then she went <gasps> like that and then he got off the train wow. so jimmy fucking jimmy can't have it jimmy follows him he crosses the street he gets on and he goes like this he had a rolled up uh magazine and he goes hey man i saw you grab that girl's tits huh that was good and the guy goes oh yeah well and jimmy grabbed him by the arm and he goes hey man let's take a walk and he goes what and he started hitting him on top of the head with the newspaper <laughs> all the way across the street <laughs> 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 And then he waited till the guy went into work. He was a he was a went into work as a waiter, and he went and told the boss what he did. Jesus Fuck that Christ. guy. All right, I uh, guess this is the last one. Have you seen this kid? No. I'll just play it for you. It's interesting. Because you're being naughty, so you're on the naughty list. No, I'm not. I'm on the good list, actually. You're not because you you're not because you ain't being good. I am on the good list. If you can say that word again and again and again. I'm not annoying it. Father Christmas r- rung me last night when I was at work yes. and said, you better tell Jackson to start being a good boy or he's going to stay on the naughty list and he won't I get no presents for Christmas. That's what he said to me. So you've got to start being a good boy. You know, I'll do an uppercut to him. No, no, he won't do... No, he would, no, what? Punch him. Punch his beard off. <laughs> You're just silly, man. They trust me. I'm not on bad list. You're on the naughty list, mate. Wouldn't it be a good boy? That was it. Is he one of the cutest shit? Me to me, that's the cutest <laughs> shit I've ever off. seen. My, my nephew was that age. I used to fuck with him. He dressed like Batman. And I'd be like, "You're not Batman." He goes, "Yes, I am." I go, "All right, hold on. Stand there. Let me see you." He'd stand there. I go, "Yeah, Batman." <laughs> yes, I am. He'd freak out. The kids, the little boys, take themselves seriously, man. The kids, kids are getting so, smarter. He's so fucking uppercut cute. Uppercut him. He says he's gonna punch his, his beard, beard off. off. <laughs> punch his beard off. You want that? He's so cute, man. Stupid kid. I'm not on the note. I'm not on the note. <laughs> is that it? That's it. All that he's thinking about is presents. That was good, man. Yeah. Uh, is that it, B? That's it, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, man. Fantastic. I'm going to Africa. When do you leave? Well, not till Friday. You leave Friday. In South Africa. I'll bring you but back. Next. What do you want? Bring you back something? You want me to poach something for you? Bring you back an uh, Oh, bring me back tusk. one of those guys from uh, the island. Sentinel Islands? Mm-hmm. They're in the Bay of Bengal now. I want to educate I'm them on I'm not going Christ. anywhere near there. I'm going to South Africa. Oh, okay. okay. I'm sorry. The Bay of Bengal right. is in the... What, what's the country? Thailand. It's India. India. Thank you, sir. But bring... All right. Bring back another... Uh, when are you going to be in Pasadena? Voyager. You're going to be at the Pasadena Ice House December 28th. I'm there 29th. next weekend, dude. Me and some friends. Maybe Andrew Santino. Maybe some other funnier dudes than me. Uh, December Edmonton. 28th, 29th. Then I'm in Edmonton, January 10th through the 12th. Edmonton, Canada. All rearing up for San Diego, January 19th. Brian Callen, a special guest, are opening up for me January 19th. Spreckles Theater, 200 tickets left for both shows. Uh, that bitch is almost sold out. Spreckles Theater, San Diego, TFAK.com. Get them. Brian, anything else before you go to Africa? What the? <laughs> What's happening? It's just a, it's a video of uh, it's a guy crying. A guy crying. That's it. I got to get out of here. This it. is the final kid. We're out.